once was a butterfly who wished for a bride, and as may be supposed, he wanted to choose a very pretty one from among the flowers. He glanced with a very critical eye at all the flower beds and found that the flowers were seated quietly and demurely on their stalks, just as maidens should sit before they are engaged. But there was a great number of them, and it appeared as if his search would become very worrisome. Butterfly did not like to take, or did not like to take too much trouble, so he flew off on a visit to the daisies. The French call this flower Marguerite, and they say that the little daisy can prophesy. Lovers pluck off the leaves, and as they pluck each leaf, they ask a question about their lovers. Less, does he or she love me? distractedly, very much, a little, not at all, and so on. Everyone speaks these words in his own language. The butterfly came also to Marguerite to inquire, but he did not pluck off her leaves. He pressed a kiss on each of them, for he thought that there was always more to be done by kindness. Darling Marguerite Daisy, he said to her, woman of all the flowers. Pray tell me which of the flowers I shall choose for my wife, which will be my bride. When I know, I will fly directly to her and propose. But Marguerite did not answer him. She was offended that he should call her a woman when she was only a girl, and that is a great difference. He asked her a second time, and then a third, but she remained dumb and answered no. appear ridiculous. 
too long choosing, which is always a bad plan, and the butterfly became what is called an old bachelor. It was late in the autumn with rainy cloud or rainy, rainy and cloudy weather. The cold wind blew over the bowed backs of the willows, the bowed backs of the willows, so that they creaked again. It was not the weather for flying about in summer clothes. Fortunately, the butterfly was not out in it. He had got a shelter by chance. It was in a room heated by a stove, and as warm as summer. He could exist here, he said, well enough. But it is not enough merely to exist, said he. I need freedom, sunshine, and a little flower for a companion. Then he flew against the window pane and was seen and admired by those in the room who caught him and stuck him box of curiosities. They could not do more for him. Now I am perched on a stalk like the flowers, said the butterfly. It is not very pleasant, certainly. I should imagine it is something like being married, for here I am, stuck fast. And with this thought he consoled himself a little. That seems very poor consolation, said one of the plants in the room. 